Hey all, this is Yusuf again. Um, for today I'm not going to review a transformer. Why? Well, simply put, I want some variation in my material. So instead of actually doing a review today, I'm actually going to talk about uh, another uh, of my collections. And I'm going to explain it. Um, the nature of the collection makes it, it's, it's not that good for individual reviews. So I'm just going to talk about the subject, which you can see above here. Kashapon, or trading figures, as they're uh, in English named. Um, now, trading figures isn't exactly the correct name, because not all of them are actually uh, trading figures. Uh, some of them actually come packaged as a whole, but due to the size and the nature of them, they do belong together, even though not all are exactly the same. Um, in their very nature, uh, gachapons are tiny trading figures normally, which are either found in these kinds of eggs, uh, these are normally found in vending machines in Japan, which can be found at the roadside or in stores. Uh, this is pretty much a throw in a dime and you get a toy out of it. I believe on average there are 100 yens, which equals, I believe, what was it? Uh, 100 yens is 10 euros? If I I'm not really sure. Yeah, yeah, I believe it's one on ten. So, so th these would be at le least in individual sales. There are usually one hundred yens, but I believe they're by the roadside. There, I think they are cheaper, but I um, I really don't know actually what the exact price is for these things in the vending machines. Um, inside these are little bags. Pretty much like with this figure. Uh, this is of a bigger one. This is from another type of collection uh, of this. I'll show you in a minute. But pretty much individual uh, packaged parts uh, in little bags inside it. And they usually also come with uh, these, which are uh, warning uh, labels. And in the front, usually depict depicting what the heck is in the series to be found. And in this case, this is Tenshi Muyo Beach Girls. Of, yeah, I don't know if it's the exact name, but... And the figure, which would be in this ball, because I know which one is in it, would be this then. So out of this one, you get this. Uh, they are in fact asset trading figures, because usually you buy these blind, so you don't know which one you'll get. You just know you get one out of the series. And you can get it either from those little balls, or you can get them out of packages like these, uh, which also display which you can get. Uh, and those, and you, if you buy them per case, you'll just get a box in which all these sealed boxes are found. Getting a box of these does not guarantee a full set. Uh, I bought lately two complete boxes uh, of this set with these boxes. I got the complete set, but from the other one which I just shown, uh, I got five out of six figures despite there being uh, eight boxes in them. So yeah, uh, getting complete sets is pretty hard. Uh, of course, you can visit eBay and buy complete sets, which is, well, sometimes it's cheaper, sometimes it's more expensive. Because prices for these things really vary a lot. Um, for example, this one I bought of Tsunami from Tenshi Muyo uh, was $25, which is bloody hell a lot for a figure. But yeah, she's pretty rare. So, it was worth it to me, because, yeah, I'm a fan of that series, Tenshi Um Anyway, um, these figures come in various 
ties, as I've shown already, uh, two different ones. Um, they also come in various sizes. They differ from what I've shown with this one, which is pretty much the default size. Uh, yeah, let's give it, compare it with the MP3 player Sound Blaster Black Soundwave. They are pretty tall, they are on average 3 to 4.5 inches tall. But there is also a larger size, which is usually found in the boxes. Uh, these are 4.5, 5 inches on average tall. Yeah, this one got a bit of a big base, but uh, on average uh, a big display base is quite good for your figures. Because the tinier ones really do have an issue with falling over a lot. Um, they can also vary into having uh, just busts or other body parts. Uh, what one I've recently seen which really got to me was uh, female hips with panties. Yes, that's also a form of gashapons which can be collected. Panties. Um, of course, uh, for uh, the tiny figures, you also get more infamous ones like this one, which is an actual Transformers Gashapon. Uh, yeah, you can buy it also in a set box, but these guys were also released in individual uh, blind boxes. Uh, I believe also a lot of Minicons uh, in Japan have come this way. Uh, what's more, uh, yeah, you got also varieties. Uh, first of all, you got the crystal variety, or pretty much the see-through variety. Uh, I really like these kinds uh, of toys. Uh, they're, I think they're very pretty to look at, but only from close-up. From, from a big distance, I think they aren't that great. Then there's also recolors, which is in this case the original version, and a more, yeah, I'm not really sure how to describe this paint job, but it's yellow with spots. Uh, it looks a bit freaky, uh, but this, yeah, those were really random boxes, so I'm not entirely happy with having this one. Because it's not the prettiest one. This this is one of the few which I might eventually sell off again. Uh, of course, you also got recolors, which can be quite amusing. This is from Lineage Two. Uh, Lin Lineage Two. Uh, yeah. What uh, annoys me the most? I've got three recolors of them. Yet, I don't have the actual figure they should represent, because this outfit is made for Dark Elves, but the only uh, Dark Elf among them got the wrong color suit. So, yeah, this color skin with this color outfit, that's what I'm still lacking. But I've not actually seen one of those yet online. Um... And then there are, as I said, those so far all were blind package figures. There are also uh, more special ones, which uh, come, uh, you know which one you'll get. Uh, but th these are more yeah, rare trading figures. They come usually with uh, magazines. And that would be my trio of the goddesses of Oh My Goddess. Uh, these are probably my most expensive gashapons, uh, as they were about 35 uh, euros a piece, plus packaging. So yeah, uh, what I've got in here in my hands is bloody expensive, but they're really worth it. Uh, okay, I know nowadays you can get these for cheaper, but back then, uh, when there wasn't a repaint and reissue of these, these guys were in Incredibly rare, so I was very glad that I could get them. Anyway, uh, that's so far about gashapons. 
If there are any questions about these guys, uh, please ask them. Now, I will note, there are, of course, these kinds. There are also mature ones, but I will not be showing them. I will not be reviewing them at all. Uh, I try to keep these PG-13. Anyway, use about. See you all later.